Welcome to Jacksonville, annual site of one of the best rivalries in the sport. The Gators and the Dogs, you put them together on a football field, sparks fly and memories are made. This is the kind of game that can help define an entire season. And a game like this is what makes college football great. Yeah, there's history and tradition, but right here, right now, there is tremendous intensity and bitterness on this field. You can feel it. As we'll see a squad from the SEC, the Florida Gators, taking on the number one team in the land, the Georgia Bulldogs. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, joined here in the booth by Kirk Herbstreet. Kirk, let's get to the action on the field. The Gators will kick it away to start us off. Fields it just outside the goal line. To be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. So the Georgia Bulldogs offense trots out there to open this game. Well, Kirk, you could just feel the emotion, the intensity of this rivalry game right now. Well, one thing we know is you work year-round for a rivalry game, and now it's right before your eyes. Let's see how these guys play today. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Well, they run it right into a blitz, and that linebacker was coming downhill, Kirk. Man, what a time to call that blitz here by the defense coordinator. And you're right, he shoots right through that A-gap. Really, the back had nowhere to go. By the time he got the ball in his hands, the linebacker's right in his face. They lose yards on first down, so second and long from the 16. Scanning the field, it's back. Close to the tight end. It's pulled in completion on a diving catch. Really good route here by the receiver, but I love the quarterback's ability to look off that safety and make that throw, and that's part of the quarterback's job here when you play in Athens for this Georgia offense. They've had some great quarterbacks over the years. Guys like Matthew Stafford and Aaron Murray and more recently Jake Fromm and, of course, Stetson Bennett who won back-to-back -back national championships, and what they're seeing today from this quarterback, they got to be very proud of. here on second down for this offense. Trying to flex the ground game here. Running back takes the handoff. They've got him down out near the 40. Are we going to see a repeat? Remember last time these teams played, it got ugly. Chris, that's one of those games you just hate to see in a rivalry game when it gets so one-sided. Hoping today to see this defense play much better. Solid gain on the running play. Third down now. Now they run the draw play. They make the stop just short of the marker. It's going to be fourth down and inches to go. Dogs will have to kick it away. That's the first punt today for the offense. On the return, it's Hawkins. And the returner brought down by the coverage team. So the Gators offense out there for their first possession. Well, wide receiver Kirk, this dangerous who lines up all over the place. Can the linebackers step up and help out the secondary enough today? Yeah, usually you see these matchups. The slot receiver has a big advantage. But I'll tell you, this linebacker is an excellent athlete. But the wide receiver he's covering today will pose a textbook challenge to see if he can truly cover. Well, that was that excellent linebacker with a clear path just running downhill quickly. You know, I think one of the great things about watching this guy play all year is his vision. He just has great instincts. That time, the defensive line ate up all the linemen, freed up the linebacker to get into the backfield, and the result is a tackle for a loss for the backer. Breaks the tackle to get back to the line of scrimmage, but that's it. Well, Kirk, you played in plenty of rivalry games. How do they feel different from the others? Well, Chris, rivalry games, and, and depending on who the coach is, this is a game you think about all year. You know, you're working out in the weight room. You're doing drills in summer two-a-days. Everything is focused on getting to this game and playing your very best. Receiver makes the grab. Good execution. Gets a block and gets the first down. It's an excellent throw by the quarterback, finding that window between the zones and delivering the ball on time.
And the Gators come to the line to set a fresh set of downs. And they'll try to pick it up on the ground. The gain is three. Now it's second down and seven. See, that's how you limit what an offense wants to do. This time, the defense just won the battle up front at the line of scrimmage, not giving up any big plays. Everybody's gap sound. It's really solid defense on that play. Second down play coming up. Gonna run it. It's Johnson. He's brought down, but the game moves the ball to the 39. What a nice first down here by this running back, and what he's doing today makes me reflect on some of the great backs that they've had over the years in Gainesville. Emmett Smith, arguably one of the best backs, if not the best back in the history of the game. Damian Pierce more recently, but even guys like Eric Rett and Fred Taylor, just really talented running backs with the ability to take it to the house. Grab down the middle. It's Wilson. They bring him down, but a big chunk of yardage on the play. Chris, how about the offensive balance these last couple plays we're seeing from these guys? Not only are they balanced, but the explosiveness. A big run followed up by a big play through the air, and it puts a lot of pressure on this defense. The Gators are in the red zone. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. Second down after that run on the previous play. Here comes the handoff. Defense stops him, but that's a solid gain. Well, I feel like they called that knowing. Chances are they're not going to hit a home run, but look at this. Put themselves in a perfect third down situation. It's much more manageable. Now we'll see if they can convert. Here we go, third down. Defense needs a stop here. Try to force a field goal attempt. Dropping back, it's Mertz. Makes the catch. Can he get in? And he's in. Touchdown, Florida. Oh, just outstanding execution here by this offense. The offensive line gives the quarterback time, and the quarterback's anticipation was on point. Puts that ball right in the money. The receiver, all he had to do was turn and catch the ball for that touchdown. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. And it's 7-0 after the PAT. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. Return starts from inside the five. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. And the Bulldogs offense is back out on the field. The last time they were forced to punt it away. Can they get points out of this possession? Finds room at the 30. They'll stop him at the 34. That will be a first down. Chris, a really good job here by this back to be able to find that hole and pick up the yards for this first down. And boy, George has had some good backs over the years. And this young man is living up to that tradition today. And that run is good for first down yardage. A new set of downs for this offense. They'll feed the back again. He's brought down, but not before the game to the 42-yard line. Great job by the offensive line here, opening up some holes and giving the running back room to run on first down. Plays like this can open up the playbook for the play caller, allow him to make that defense take. Are they going to run? Maybe play action? Maybe throw the ball downfield? Second down after that run on the previous play. They'll hand it off. And they keep the drive going. It's a first down to the 46. Sometimes I almost get mesmerized watching these runners who have great vision. You know, the eyes that carry their feet to the open space, making people miss. I just love watching those guys do work. First and 10 now for the offense. To the air, it's back. 
sideline throw caught, but not enough for a first down. And the runner scoots out of bounds after gaining some decent yardage. Any good offense has to have a reliable, quick to intermediate passing game. Even though that wasn't enough for the first down, it's plays like this that help you sustain drives and not get stuck with third down and long. Moving the receiver around pre-snap. Play action fake, looking to throw. A sack in the play could not escape the pass rush. Well, you got to do a better job with your fake as the quarterback. The defense did not bite at all on the play action, allowing them to continue to come after the quarterback and come up with that sack. They come to the line, a long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. And the motion by the back now forces the defense to adjust. Here's the throw deep downfield. Catch made at the 20 in the deep shot. Big game. Touchdown, Bulldogs. No chance to catch him. Looked like a total bust there. Easy pitch and catch like you'd see in a Tuesday practice. Yeah, that quarterback's eyes must have lit up on that play because you've got one of your players way downfield without any defender around you. And they'll set up for the PAT. And he knocks it right through. The kickoff team on the field now is they get set to send this one away. And here's the return from inside the five. And he stopped at the 20. Tried to make something happen, but that's good coverage there. And the Gators offense retakes the field. Remember last time they scored a touchdown. Can they keep clicking here? Or will the defense come up with a stop? Makes the grab. It's Johnson. Tackle made after the completion. And they get some positive yards here. But just from sitting up here looking down, Chris, kind of have a sense that they wanted a little bit more on that play. Second down play coming up for this offense. They'll try the right here. They're gaining some breathing room now. Tackled at the 26. Well, they didn't bust that for a big play, but it makes this third down coming up a little bit more manageable, and that certainly has a lot of value. The offense will line up. Chance for a couple more plays before the end of the quarter. Handing off on the draw play. Only gets a couple of yards there. It'll bring up fourth down. And through one quarter, it's been a duel of big-time receivers showing out early in this one. And after a promising start, we hope that both these teams will just continue with more of this action. The Gators will bring their punt team onto the field. So on to kick it away, helping his team with field position. And the returner is tackled by this punt coverage team. And the Georgia offense is back out on the field. The passing game was clicking beautifully in the last drive, right down for a touchdown. Let's see if they can do it again. A juke to man, but not much room to maneuver. Stopped after a small game. For the defense coordinator this week, all week telling us about gap integrity, not giving this running back any creases at all. Really sound defense on that play. Here's the second down play. Ending off on the draw play. They've got him at the 48, but that's a first down. Look, I realize on any play call when it's properly executed, it can go to the house for a touchdown. But the runs that really make a game plan work are the ones where you get just what you need. And he barely got the first down, but he got it. 
See what the call is on first and ten. And they're moving the receiver now before the snap. Scanning the field. It's back. Quarterback delivers complete to the right side. Zero running room. Stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Well, this is exactly what you want to see from the defense. Yeah, you give up the catch, but you're right there to be able to stop this receiver from making any yards after the catch. Getting set. Here's second down. Quarterback drops back. We're going to test the secondary. Running back has it on a screen now. Defense wraps him up after the catch, but he's just short of a first down. Good time here to drop this screen in by the offensive coordinator and a nice job by the running back being able to pick up some positive yards here on this play. Third down upcoming after that completion. Try and muscle for the first down. Eludes a tackle. Brought down at the 40. That'll be a first down. Nice first down run here by this running back. And these are the kind of situations on third and short that you can gain a lot of momentum or it can kill a drive and kill the confidence of an offense. Here they pick up the nice first down, which is great. New set of downs. But it also gives you a lot of confidence that you can wear that defense down psychologically. Off the play fake, looking to throw. Fires it to the wide out. Finds the receiver wide open. Four set of bounds after a big game. This offense set up for the first down. Boy, a huge play by this offense. A good throw, a nice, accurate throw. But I think it's the run after the catch that really impresses me. And early in this game, you got to think they're going to continue to go back to him until this defense shows that they can slow him down. The defense better regroup after that big gainer. It's first and goal just outside the five. And there's the handoff. He tried to use the stiff arm there, but the defense corrals him quickly. A pretty good push-up run here by this offense line to get some positive yards here. You wonder if they're going to be able to run it in, or they're going to have to spread this defense out and try to find a one-on-one -on -one matchup to put the ball through the air for the touchdown. Second and goal for the offense. The offense with some pre-snap eye candy. On second and goal, they'll give it to him again. Couldn't quite get there, but brought down at the one-yard line. Well, they came very close to punching that one in, and now third down and goal. And if I'm the OC, I challenge my offensive line in that back. I just slam it right back into that A-gap and try to overpower that defensive front. So they get closer, but now they line up on third and goal from the one. QB decides to keep it here. He'll make it into the end zone. Touchdown, dogs! Well, there it is, Chris. One of the most dangerous plays in college football, the option. What's even more dangerous, as a defender, you have no clue if he's going to pull it, tuck it, throw it. That time, he took it himself, fooling the defense all the way to the end zone. And they'll set up for the PAT. PAT puts him in front by seven. Kickoff team has come on the field now to send this one away. He'll return it from inside the five. And the returner brought down by the coverage team. Now. The Florida offense retakes the field. Are coming off a three and out, looking to produce a positive drive here. And they'll tackle him about the 23 yard line. I really like to see the counter mixed in there with your base concepts to keep the defense honest. Now, they didn't burst a big run, but if you keep mixing it in as the game progresses, you might catch the defense over pursuing. Second down after that run on the previous play. Back to pass. It's Mertz. And the pressure gets home. It's a sack. The defender did not bite on the fake at all. They were in pass rush mode the entire time. Well, 
Well, it's been tough so far to get this drive going. Now they face third and 10 from inside their own 20. What's the call going to be? Defense is coming after him. There's no one to throw to there on third down. And now it's a fourth down coming up. Boy, this is all about the defense here. Nice stop here on third down, but really it's about trying to get this offense behind the sticks. Once you get them behind the sticks, you can mix up your coverages, really affect the quarterback's eyes and disrupt the timing and the rhythm of what the offense is trying to do. Now we've got another big fourth down coming up. He's got an opening. Watch out. He's got great speed. And the coverage team able to bring him down. And the powerful Georgia offense is back out on the field. They reached the end zone the last time out, trying to do the same thing here. The sophomore with a strong tackle there. Christina, you know, the spread error over the years has always grown offensively, but what I've been always impressed with the defenses that really build their defense to play in space still have an ability to be sound at the line of scrimmage and defend a running game. It's exactly what we saw right there. Second down after that run on the previous play. And he's got it again. Minimal gain brought down short of the marker. Solid gain in the running play. Third down now. Offense moving receivers around now before the snap. Tries the right with a quick throw. Finds a man downfield. That's a big gain to the right. And he finally steps out of bounds after a huge gain. It'll be first down and goal. The defense is spread all over the field, creating some one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the quarterback makes them pay for it. That huge play sets up a great opportunity. First and goal just outside the five. That's the wide receiver coming in motion now. They'll try to run it in on first and goal. And we're able to get him down. Second down and goal, upcoming. Flying for the end zone, wanting it right up the gut. Ball carrier brought down at the four. Offense in great scoring position here. Good job by the offensive line. You get some positive yards, but not quite into the end zone. Now we're going to have a third and goal. Third down here. Time for perhaps one more play before the two-minute warning. And the clock stops now for the two-minute warning. A chance to strategize here before we reach halftime. Here we go. Third and goal coming up. Dropping back. It's back. And he decides to just throw it away. That's going to bring up fourth down now. Hey, the good news is here, Chris, they're still in field goal range, and they didn't cost themselves any points. But they could have more. Got to be thinking about going for this on fourth and short. The decision is not to go for it on fourth down. Here comes the field goal team. They'll set up at the right hash mark for this chip shot. He knocks this one right through. And that will extend their lead even further. Well, they almost put a touchdown on the board, but instead they come away with three points. After the field goal, the kicker out there again to boot it away. He's going to return it from near the goal line. Makes it to the 16. That's good coverage there. And the Florida offense is back out on the field now. Not a whole lot of time remaining before halftime to cut into this lead. On first and ten, looking to throw. Locates the tight end. It's complete. Goes down after making the grab. Picks up a few yards, but it's short of the first down marker. And there's the tight end who shows off his hands. 
They'll crank up the tempo here on second down. The time is running out. Here's the snap. Offense looking to throw the ball. And he finds a wide open receiver. They forgot about him downfield. They finally get him down. It's a big game. Ball moves to the 47. First down here for this offense. Dropping back. It's Mertz. And a short pitch and catch to the tight end. A big hit by the linebacker. Physical tackle there. Big versus big. Boy, that's pretty good coverage here by this defense. Not much of a window to throw this ball into, but the quarterback's accuracy and the size of the tight end picks up a nice game. Second down, we're going to throw it. A short completion of the tight end. Hard running through a tackle. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. Well, this is what coaches love to see. A quarterback with the ability to read the defense properly and then just get it to the open man. Sometimes it sounds simple, but it's tough to execute. This time we have good recognition by the quarterback. Then he gets it down to the tight end. You can see what he can do after the catch. The pocket breaking down. And a timeout is called. Important stage late here in the second quarter. Finally, the defense is able to come up with a play on this drive. Let's face it, this offense has been able to put things together. Quarterbacks had a nice drive, but finally, great job of getting the pressure and getting after that quarterback. And it's incomplete as he just overthrew his receiver that time. That ball just seemed to sail on it. You got to make sure to give your receiver a chance to be able to come down with a catch and bounce because in today's game, man, these receivers make catches like this all the time. And if you put the ball out of bounds, you're not going to give them that opportunity. Drops back, needing a third down completion here. He's got it for a big game. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. If I'm this defense, you get these guys to third down, you better bracket or double team some kind of coverage roll to this receiver to take him away. This guy makes another big play. Here we go. First and goal. A touchdown here gets him right back into this game. On the ground, trying to punch it in for the score. Fights his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Gators. Chris, we're still early in this football game. We're in the second quarter. It's a critical touchdown to get their confidence to believe that they can come back and still win this game. And they'll set up now for the extra point try. PAT up and good. They get a little bit closer. So the offense getting some momentum before halftime of the touchdown. Now they kick off and hopes the defense can get a quick stop. Fields it inside the five yard line. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. And the Bulldogs offense is back out on the field. We'd expect a prudent decision here. Backed up near their own end zone. Just run the clock out and get to halftime. Oh, it's incomplete. That's a good job of the defender to break that up. Well, this is just an outstanding job by this defender being in phase against this receiver and being able to tip that ball away. He actually tips it up into the air. The offense catches a break, but that ball's not intercepted. So, second down after the incompletion. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. But they tackle him after just a two-yard gain, so it sets up a third and eight. Meadows going to wrap up the first half here. Let's kick it now to Kevin Connors with our halftime update. Fellas, it's one thing to have a rivalry game, but when you have two longtime foes like the Gators and Dogs duking it out on neutral turf, you know emotions will run high. 
And we can't get very far into this halftime breakdown without talking about that stud linebacker. But the kid's been everywhere all at once through two quarters. From clogging gaps to causing turnovers, he's been a one-man gang. Public enemy number one for that opposing sideline. With that, let's throw it back to the guys to see how the fight between Florida and Georgia plays out. And the Bulldogs will kick this away to get the second half going. And so it'll be a touchback. Ball spotted at the 25. And the Gators offense retakes the field. On first and 10, they'll look to throw it. He's got an open man downfield, and it's caught. Tackle made after a big game. That'll put him over 150 yards today, Kirk. He is putting on a show on this big stage. How great is this? On this stage, as you mentioned, Chris, just playing his best game. He's been in sync with his receivers. Back there, has time to throw. Just having a dream performance. First down, looking to throw the ball. It's a short completion to the big tight end. Tackled quickly after the catch, she'll be short of the marker. Just a good job of spreading the wealth, making sure everybody's getting their touches. When you do that, the defense can't lock in on one guy or two guys. Make them have to be aware of everybody. and allows you to continue to spread the ball around and spread the field, making it tougher for this defense. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Well, I don't think the offensive line gave the back much of a chance at all. Now, give credit to the defense. It was almost like they were anticipating a run and got up close to the line of scrimmage in a hurry. Third down play for this offense. Looking to pass. It's Mertz bringing pressure. Down he goes. A sack. This guy has been all over the field today, Kirk. You talk about an inspired performance. Well, he's playing with a lot of emotion today. It's a rivalry game. He's flying around, just leaving everything he has out on that field. And the Gators will line up to boot it away. Oh, it landed at the eight-yard line, but a lucky bounce into the end zone for a touchback. And the Georgia offense is back out on the field. Opening play of the drive, good throw to the left. Tackle made at the 37. That's a solid game. Just a really good ball here to be able to pick up this first down for the Georgia offense. And, you know, being able to have a balanced attack, so important in modern college football, and Georgia does that as well as anybody. Game moves the ball to the 37, another first down. Ball handed off. That's a nice wrap up there by the junior. You know, in the era that we live in right now, everybody wants to spread the field around, try to create space, try to create one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the defense has countered over the years by trying to play out wide. But here's a great example of the defense has the ability to play wide, but still be solid at the line of scrimmage, not give up big run plays. They look to throw it here on second down. Grab behind the line. It's Bell. And he's tackled for a loss after the catch. The defense all over that one. You know, what separates good defenses from great defenses is you're going to give up some catches. But what do you do after the offense makes the reception? Are you giving up much space? Are you giving up yards after the catch? Here, just a really good job by this defense. Yeah, they gave up a reception, but right there to make a nice tackle for a loss. The Bulldogs will line up to punt it away. They're gonna kick it away for the second time. Fair catch made at the 20. And the Florida offense retakes the field. The last drive, they came up empty, had to kick it away. Can they come up with something here? And he floats this pass deep down the right side. The catch is made for a huge pickup. 
Oh, and nothing but green grass ahead. Touchdown, Florida. Will take the lead in the second half. Well, that's a well-oiled machine right there. Everyone on this offense has been a star in their roles. And when they're rolling like this, it results in quick and positive results. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. The extra point is good. The lead is now 4, 21-17. Here's the kickoff team now, set to boot this one away. Fielded in the end zone. It's Bell. And he's tackled at the 21. That's where the drive will start. And the powerful Georgia offense is back out on the field. They were forced to punt it away last time, so let's see if they can get clicking in this possession. They bring him down just short of the marker, inches away from a first down. Boy, positive yards there on first and 10. Good job up front by that offensive line. Good hard running by this running back. And now you've got a lot of options. That playbook can really open up on second inches. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. Pre-snap motion from the offense. He'll be taken down. There is a flag in the field. We'll see if this sack holds up. Costly holding penalty there. Backs him up 10 yards. Offense getting set. Second down play here. To throw. It's back. Quick throw to his receiver. Looks downfield and finds a receiver who worked his way wide open. They bring him down, but an explosive play by this offense. Big game. It's a great play for the offense, but let's give all the credit to the offensive line for that play. The quarterback makes the throw, but he couldn't have done it without the time that they provided. Big chunk play. This offense operating at peak efficiency. And they'll keep it on the ground. Running back has the handoff. It's a good, solid game. Five or six yards. Love to see that from the running game. The game makes it second and medium. Ball we'll handed off. And he's brought down after a short gain. Does not make the first down yardage. Solid gain on the running play. Third down now. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. This one's going to fall incomplete. Brings up fourth down. By third down and short, they decide to throw the football, roll the dice a bit, doesn't work out. Now you're at fourth and short. You gotta wonder with this offensive line and this running back, do you run the football to convert, or do they try to go through the air again? And at fourth down, they'll punt it away here. And the kick angles out of bounds, so no return possible here. And the Florida offense is back out on the field now. Last possession, a one-play lightning strike with the big touchdown pass. Can the defense make adjustments here? And he's got his man open downfield. That'll pick up first down yardage very near the 40. Boy, Chris, great timing here with the quarterback against that zone defense, waiting just at the right time to deliver it into that window to pick up a nice game. The game moves the ball to the 39. It'll be first down. Off the play fake, looking to throw. And he dumps it off to the tight end. Well, this is why running the football is so important. You run the ball and you go play action. It affects the eyes of the safeties and linebackers and frees up some space for the tight end to be able to pick up a nice game. And the completion makes it second and short. 
Off the play fade. Looking to throw the football. Finds an open target on the left side. And they stop him, but not before. An explosive play. Moves the ball all the way to the 32. Nice play action call here by this offensive coordinator. You, know, you can freeze those linebackers just for a split second. Usually that's going to give you enough room to be able to get that tight end behind them. And if a quarterback can make a nice tight throw like this, pick up some big yards. The Gators will have first and ten here. On the run, it's Johnson. And the senior able to make the stop after a short game. Second down after that run on the previous play. Looking to throw, it's Mertz. QB to the tight end for a completion. They bring him down, but a big chunk of yards on the play. And that completion, Kirk, puts him over 300 yards passing today. Yeah, anytime a quarterback has a day like this, really, it all has to come together with the offensive line play, the receivers running these great routes, and he's just in sync. He's kind of in that zone right now, and he'll be the first one to tell you how much his teammates have helped him out today. The Gators looking to finish the drive here. It's first and goal. Here's the handoff on first and goal. Ball carrier wrapped up and brought down. We'll see if the offense can punch it in on second and goal. Tailback tests the middle of the defense. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, Gators. And that's another touchdown for this guy. This defense better adjust and get eyes into that backfield, or he may go for a third or a fourth later today. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. And the extra point makes the lead 11, 28 17. Now they get set to kick it away. And he takes this from inside the five. And he stopped at the 20. Tried to make something happen, but that's good coverage there. And the Bulldogs offense is back out on the field. The last drive stalled. They were forced to punt it away. Let's see what they can come up with this time. And he breaks the tackle on the way to a solid gain there. I know this defense worked very hard at halftime to come up with answers on how to try to slow down this running back after the big first half. And he's already at it again. Second down after that run on the previous play. Oh, a reverse. Oh, what a move. Look at him run through those tacklers. Tackle made after a solid run by the junior. And as we wrap up the third quarter, check out the comparison of these big play wide receivers. Both guys have been lighting it up so far today. Back at it to start the quarter. Offense getting set to run a first down play. Trying to find some room. It's ETN. It's exactly what you want to see as a play caller. You get positive yards to be able to kind of keep you on schedule as a play caller. That's all you can ask for. Good job up front and a nice run. The game makes it second and medium. Ooh. 
looking to pass. It's back. And it falls incomplete. One of those critical third down plays coming up. Dropping back. We're going to throw for the first down. Under pressure, just lets it go. Just throws it away, but takes a big hit in the process. Well, everybody talks about sacks, and they're very important. But sometimes, just the rush, the pressure affecting the quarterback is just as effective. He didn't have a clean throwing lane, and they forced the incompletion. Pre-snap motion from the receiver. Trying for a fourth down completion. And he finds his target. He has the first. They've got him, but he easily makes the first down, and this drive keeps going. Chris, here we are in the fourth quarter. These guys are trailing. Hadn't been a great day, but with this quarterback, he's as gifted as anybody in the country. You never count these guys out. This Georgia offense is moving quickly down the field. From the shotgun, handoff inside. Tackle, but first down. Oh, man, this guy's having a heck of a day. Now, they may not win this game today, but you cannot fault his effort, what he's been able to do. He's been the one bright spot as that last carry now puts him over the 100-yard mark. Georgia getting set with a first and 10 now. And here's the handoff. A gain of two yards. Now it's second down and eight. Now, this is the eighth play on this drive. Receiver in motion now. To throw, it's back. Caught near the goal line. Tackled after the catch, but the ball moves to the four-yard line. This is an example of a quarterback and his offense just taking what the defense gives you. Not a huge play, but positive yards. The defense wants to give that throw to you. You take it, get the ball to your receiver, stay ahead of the sticks. Crucial. Third down coming up in the red zone. Can they keep the drive going, or will they have to settle for three? And it's caught. Touchdown, Georgia. So here we go. Fourth quarter. They cut into the lead, but still work to do. Well, I, I think the cool thing is that they're still battling, and they put themselves at least in a position now to possibly come back and maybe, who knows, win this game. But it's going to be up to their defense. They've got to get the ball back to have a chance. The obvious move here is to go for a two-point conversion to cut this lead to three as time winds down. On the ground, trying to power toward the goal line. And he has stopped short. The two-point try fails. They can't cut this lead further. Here's the kickoff team. Let's see if they give the returner an opportunity to bring this back. Bringing it out. It's Hawkins. Solid coverage there. They get him at the 15. That's where the offense will take over. And the Gators' offense retakes the field. Crucial possession. This game just got tighter. They love to play keep away. Chew on the clock. How will they call it here? They'll actually lose yardage after the catch. The defense all over in that time. Well, that's one of those plays that works better against certain defensive looks. But not every defense is the same. They were all over that one. Let's see if they continue to attack to the outside on the perimeter to set something up downfield. First down loss sets up second and long from the 11. To throw, it's Mertz. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. They bring him down, but he was fast enough to get that first down yardage. Great accuracy here by the quarterback, hitting his receiver in stride on that slant, and it gave him a chance to pick up some yards after the catch. First and ten play coming up. Yeah. 
Trying the old counter play here. It's good for a three-yard gain, so second and seven. Now I like to run play here, and offensively at this point in the game, you want to remain in that attack mode first while also staying in bounds and working that clock. Now it's second down here. And the back now goes in motion. They flip it to him on the jet sweep. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. Important third down play coming up. Here's the snap, looking to throw here. And they heave it deep downfield. And the pass is dropped incomplete. Would have had a huge gain. Took his eye off the ball. Boy, a questionable call there on third down. I know they don't convert, but why not run the ball? Keep the clock moving, especially working with the lead in the fourth quarter. Now you got a big decision here on fourth down and short. And the Gators will have to punt this one away. The Turner brought down, sets up the next drive. And the Georgia offense is back out on the field. Can they keep it going? They mix the run and pass beautifully in the last touchdown drive. Tackle made after just a short game. Hey, it's a great job of this defense containing the running game. But if I'm calling the plays, I'm not abandoning the running game just yet. I think it's important to have some sense of balance. So throwing and running is essential. Stick with it. Second down after that run on the previous play. And the wideout goes in motion. Looking downfield, it's back. That one falls incomplete. Looking for a flag, doesn't get it. Brings up third down. Not going to be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. Drops back, looking to throw for it on third down. Oh, the pass is picked off. He goes down quickly, but comes up with a nice interception. Boy, great hands by the defender to take that ball away and pretty much steal it from the intended receiver. I don't know if I'd be targeting that defender very many more times. Florida offense retakes the field. They had to punt the ball last time. Now they're looking to add points, build on this lead. Handoff as you try to work the clock here. Man, just complimentary football, really, in a nutshell. They get this football back thanks to their own defense, creating that turnover, working with the lead like this. Really, it's all but over. Now the offense is just thinking about running the football and working that clock. Second down after that run on the previous play. It's a draw play. Jukes past the defender. He's in the clear. They stop him, but it's a first down. I like how the offensive coordinator here is getting pretty creative. Defense is obviously expecting a pass, so he decides to catch him off guard and goes with the draw play. They have to be more aware of that going forward. A running play gives the offense a fresh set of downs. Using his legs, it's Johnson. And he's able to find some room before they finally bring him down. Yeah, I like this call here late in a game like this with the lead. Nothing too fancy, just right up the middle. Trust that offensive line and this running back and just keep working that clock. They'll run this play from the pistol formation. And off in a single back formation. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Chris, textbook job by the defense surrounding the runner and preventing that play from being bounced to the outside. This is a big third down play coming up. If they can get the stop, you have to believe we see a timeout. 
They'll try to move the chains here on the ground. They get the senior to the ground, but it's a nice run there. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. The Gators line up on first and ten now. And on the carry, he's heading left. They get him down, but that's a solid game. And now a timeout taken by the defense, trying to preserve as much clock as possible for their offense. So down here in the red zone, every yard tough to find. Here is a crucial play coming up. They'll try the ground game here with the running back. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. Offense facing a third down now. They can still get a first down without scoring. Can they pick up the first on the ground? Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Things just appear to be a bit out of sync from the get-go on that Give credit to the front seven of that defense for staying in the proper lanes and getting to the ball carrier, not let him dance around and make something out of nothing. So on fourth down, it's an all-important field goal attempt. Hold your breath here. And that one's straight down the middle. And that one, my gosh, I mean, it's almost too easy. Nice kick. So after coming away with three in that drive, the kickoff team is out. Fields it just outside the goal line. To be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. And the powerful Georgia offense is back out on the field. And it comes down to this. They need a touchdown. They've got some time to work with. How aggressive will they be? Cannot get the throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this stage of the game. Well, that takes the wind right out of your sails. This offense is trying to find a way to get back into this game and another pressure and a sack against their quarterback. Well, crank up the tempo here. The clock ticking down. Second down. And now they'll just clock it. They'll get set, needing to score quickly now, looking for some big plays right here. Now in third and very long, looking to throw. Cannot connect, incomplete, and now fourth down. Well, that's not what you want to see as an offense when you're trailing late in a football game, an incompletion on third down and long. It's a bit of a risk, but with that clock looking the way it looks right now, I think you've got to go for it here and hope to convert on fourth and long. Down one possession in the fourth quarter, and the offense is going to try to convert here on fourth down. They make the tackle there, but a penalty marker is on the field. Let's see what that's about. So the offense declines the penalty after the big play. So first and ten, that's a costly mistake for the defense on fourth down. Looking to throw, it's back. Fires it to the wideout. It's a highlight reel diving catch there. Tackle made, but a strong arm throw by the senior quarterback. What a great catch by that receiver, Chris. He lays out and comes down with it, and the quarterback is the beneficiary. He's actually over 200 yards, and he can thank his receivers for plays like this. Quarterback spikes the ball to stop the clock. They've got to get points quickly here. Looking for explosive plays right now. Quarterback looking to throw it on second down. And the clock winding down. They'll take a deep shot. In 
complete in the final pass attempt. The defense rises up to secure the win.